it takes nearly 100 pounds of Murex snails to produce a single gram of pure Tyrian purple extract. Russen is one of a handful of producers in the world bringing this ancient dye back to life. He reserves some to dye fabric directly. He mixes the snail glands with water and a reducing agent and lets them ferment. The mixture goes from a colourless liquid to green before it turns purple. Finding the right pH balance in this step is crucial. If it's too acidic, the wool may burn, and if it's too basic, it may cause the wool to felt. This is also the moment when the soluble dye is the most light sensitive. Too much light can turn the dye from purple to blue, destroying a week's worth of work. When the material has soaked for the appropriate amount of time, Cusson lifts the vat lid, exposing the mixture to light and air. This allows the mixture to oxidize, 